Hello everyone, RDZ here, back with another review. We're going to be talking about Legacies Season 2, Episode 2. This year will be different. And wow. Um, this Man, this show is so good. Like I can't even express to you guys how good it is. It literally, like, I don't know. It's it's so good to me. It's, it's really just one of my favorite shows. Like, it's, it's my favorite show on the CW. Probably like my second overall favorite show on TV right now. Um, I just love it. It's so, so good. Um, let's get into this review. First off, we have Hope walking in the woods. She's looking for the monster that she saw the night before um, that flipped the bus over, the troll. And I'm thinking when she's doing this, I'm thinking she's going to run into Roth at some point. But we got no mention of Roth in this episode. Like, I was shook. I was actually surprised. We got, like, literally, they did not, Landon didn't mention him at all. I was surprised by that. Josie didn't mention him. Hope didn't mention him. Hope still, like, does it not, like, she, it seems like she forgot people. Like, she literally forgot about Roth. That's funny. Um, that she, like, has no regard for if he's okay, where he, like, she hasn't seen him at all. I just thought it was weird and funny. Like, nobody's asking about him. Um, so, I don't know. That was just weird. I thought, I really thought she was going to walk and run into him as a wolf in, in this uh, moment. Um, but she needs new clothes, you know. She's been wearing those clothes ever since the, the season one finale. Um, and she does get new clothes. She ends up going to Mystic Falls High where she runs into this woman or this girl named Maya. Maya is actually really cool. Um, they meet in the bathroom. And she figured, like, figures that Hope was crying over a boy and all that. So she helps her out. She dresses her up. She gives her some new makeup, some clothes and all that. And Hope is, you know, she's brand new. She knows she's ready for the new day and um i like I, I think this relationship is gonna go far i think they're gonna become like good friends until um hope um everybody rem rem remembers hope um and i can't wait for that that's gonna be cool i think i th i'm pretty sure maya is going to be supernatural i'm not sure what i can't remember if julie said something about them but i believe she is one half of the twins so I'm pretty sure she's gonna be something supernatural. Most likely, I'm I'm gonna bet she is, but we'll see where this relationship takes and goes. Hope me the principal, and it turns out it was a lark. That was a pretty cool moment, epic moment. Uh, she was shook. Um, that that was just a really good moment, man. Hope just it's sad that nobody remembers her, especially landing in a lark. You know. Um, but this moment was really cool, you know. I love how, like, the episode progressed. They got even, they came even closer, you know. They got closer. And then by the end of the episode, she told her, told him everything, you know, that pretty much that he knows, you know. Everybody, everything that happened and uh, how, like, he's like a, like, she's like a daughter to him and all that. And, like, she, um, he's a father figure to her and all that. Um, and that he's pretty much the only father figure to her at the moment, you know, because her father died, Klaus died, and, um, so that, I mean, that's, that was a really, just, that moment, that ending scene was just, whew, it wasn't any scene, but it was, like, the final scene for them, um, and that, it was just a really touching moment, and seeing Hope like that, man, she's getting put through the ringer in this, in these first couple of episodes, I feel like it's gonna continue until, like, episode four or five, um, but this episode, man, this was, this was really good. This was really good. It has so many feels in it. Just crazy, crazy feels. And it was good. Um, uh, Landon being popular. It's, this was hilarious, man. This was really funny. Everybody thinks that Landon is the one that stopped Malivore. And it turns out he doesn't even believe he's the one that stopped, stopped uh, Malivore. He just woke up next to the pit, which, I mean, I get how people would think that, but, he doesn't even feel like he deserves the credit, which he tells Josie at the, that uh, towards the end of the episode. He was just doing it to impress Josie, um, but it was that that stuff was just funny and weird. Like seeing Landon popular, like I like I love that he's popular and all that stuff now. Um, but you know, I'm just my boy from season one. But uh, this was really cool and funny and just something just new. And Landon getting the medal from the new headmaster that was hilarious. By the way, the new headmaster trash. Throw him away in the trash. We don't need him here. We bring him back a lark. That's our headmaster. He always will be. We need him back ASAP. 
seeing Lo, uh, Josie jealous in this episode was pretty funny too. Her like making the girl get a nosebleed because she she was writing this like thing on note uh, Landon's notebook, uh, like the drawing of him. That was funny. Um, seeing Josie like this is pretty cute and funny. Like I really like enjoy her seeing her like this. She's happy, but she's also getting jealous because she's feeling what's landing for herself. So uh, it makes sense. But it's pretty funny to see her jealous and all that. Um, so I really like her like this because we didn't get to see too much of it last season. And by the way, I like the uh, the this moment when um, a lark and Hope are in the boys' locker room and he takes her and then she takes him down and stuff like that. That was, that was pretty funny, uh, and her pretty much telling him that you know he's gonna need her, Cause, and he he is because he doesn't know how powerful Hope is yet, um, because he doesn't remember her. But like, if he knew, he would not be resisting the the help that she's offering and all that. Um, so I thought that was a really cool scene and funny scene. Her having to leave the boys' locker room and then her saying, "I go, if I be could be one and all that stuff." That was a pretty epic line. Not gonna lie. Um, I hope there's nothing going on between that guy. I hope there needs to be nothing because um, that dude is um, not Landon. So next subject. But Josie and Landon were so awkward in this episode. I don't know why. I mean, I mean, I get why because it's like it happens every t- almost every time in uh, like shows like this. Sometimes. When like you know, there's a kiss that happens out of nowhere or something like that, and then like the next day they don't know they don't know how to act because everything moves so fast and all that. So if, them being awkward around each other, it was I knew like it. Um, it's not out of nowhere. Like obviously it was gonna happen, but like sometimes it doesn't happen with couples, but sometimes it does. Um, and we've seen it many of times on shows, so it's not like shocking that they would be awkward around each other. And I I mean I like it. Like I like them. Like an, I'm not, I don't like them together, but I like their dynamic. You know, um, I don't want them together because I'm I want Hope and Landon back together. But I like them, seeing them in scenes together and like how happy they are together because I think that they can have a really great friendship and all that. I'm not saying like I don't like I, like that 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 end scene that they had where like you know um, where you know she was explaining to him about the seaweed and all that how she's allergic and all that i like that scene that was a good scene they had a lot of chemistry in that scene i really really like that scene um but it's it doesn't compare to hand in scenes it does it just doesn't um or posy scenes um i need to go back and rewatch some posy scenes i haven't watched posy scenes since it's been a while it's been a while um because penelope left in like really early in the season didn't she i don't know but it, it was they didn't have that many scenes so i have to go back and like pinpoint uh, their best scenes, so, but, um, yeah, their scenes just don't compare to Handon's, but, like, I see it, I see the chemistry, like, I'm not one of those people that just gonna, like, ignore everything, like, I see the chemistry, um, and I think these two characters, these two have chemistry with, like, everybody, this cast just has chemistry with everybody that they touch and look at, honestly, everybody, um, but I think Arya and Danielle's chemistry is just, a tier above everybody else's on the show, honestly. Like, I just think it's just that great. Especially when they look at each other when Landon gets up from the bench. Come on, man. That chemistry just... They all have to do is look at each other. And it's just... It's literally Delena. It's literally Delena times two. Like, it's literally, like, them. Like, they're, they're just... I don't know. It's just ama- They're just amazing. That chemistry is just on point, honestly. It's just on point. You know who I really felt bad for in this episode? MG. MG, man. This dude is so in love with Lizzie, but she does not notice really at all, honestly. And Lizzie meeting Sebastian, um, that really changed everything for her. She really likes this guy now, and I believe he's going to play a huge part in Lizzie's um, in, in right now and her future and all that. I really believe that I think these two are going to get together. I'm not sure if he's going to be evil or not. I really can't tell. He had that kind of evil look or mysterious look, but I can't tell exactly how what he's going to be doing in this season, honestly. Um, but when uh, it really sucks for MG, man, like if a didn't call him to come compel Maya, he would have been there on time for his date or study date with um, Lizzie. But instead, he was a few minutes late, which led to Lizzie meeting uh sebastian and all that you know and maybe if mg was there and they met each other together you know and they met sebastian together 
they wouldn't you wouldn't have seen Lizzie and Sebastian have this chemistry and this moment together and that sucks for MG man because he arrived just moments later moments later after Sebastian left so that really is tough man that sucks but I don't know man it's this is gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy and when Lizzie was telling MG about Sebastian on the couch and her putting her hand on his leg and all that saying that she's sorry and she doesn't want to hurt his feelings but she's really has a crush on Sebastian I felt the pain man you know and when he said what are friends for god MG man that that just that just hurt man it's maybe I don't know maybe it's time for him to move on maybe because he hasn't been able to get her attention at all ever in the show you know even at her birthday party from last season she, like yeah they had that moment but she didn't really care about it because she was in the Roth. So, I don't know, man. MG might have to get in his bag a little more and just pull something out and, like, you know, really, like, wow her. Um, or it's not going to look too good for him because Sebastian, he's talking a nice game. He has game right now. And Lizzie is, um, she's falling for it, honestly. And I can't say I blame her because the words he was saying, the way he was talking to her, yeah, it's, um... He's smooth. He's smooth. So, I don't know. Um, I really want to know. I mean, I'm guessing he's a vampire. Like, I'm guessing this dude is a vampire. Sebastian is a vampire. He has to be. Um, so, I think that's going to be interesting to see what happens between him and Lizzie. I'm really interested to see. Because I really want something to make Lizzie likable. And really, really likable. Because she's, she's my fourth favorite character on the show. And I really want to see her shine, honestly. I really want to see her happy. Because she's always down and not in, like, belittling people. So I really want to see her happy and something different in this season. So hopefully Sebastian or MG can bring that out of her. We'll see what happens. But tell me what you guys are feeling. Tell me how bad you felt for MG in this episode. Um, because I felt like he is... um that sucks and especially with Caleb helping him I love their friendship so good such a good friend honestly um but I think this may lead to Caleb's sister actually coming back and coming into the school maybe she's supernatural too which me will lead to MG and his sister Kim getting together so that's that's gonna be interesting it's gonna be really really interesting to see there's so many storylines that could happen in this season man so many and when MG was asking Lizzie on the study break, man, that was so awkward. Like, I felt the awkwardness, you know, because Lizzie really wanted to say no, but she can't. She couldn't because she said she said she's going to say yes to everything this year. So, I did not like that scene, man. That was really, ah, uh, because you can see it on Lizzie's face. But hopefully my boy MG comes through, man, hopefully. I love the win. Hope and Alaric took down the troll in the basement of the school uh and like he just threw up the, the the arrow right at her and he knew she was like a witch but he doesn't know but he knew you know it's the, just the mechanics you know just the muscle memory in his head and he figures it out that they fought together before and she pretty much tells him you know like it wouldn't matter if i told you now because you won't really remember it um but pretty much he figures it out that like you know yeah they knew each other and all that and that was a really cool moment really cool and just man somebody needs to remember her and when alaric and hope are going outside they're looking for the monster still hope who does she see landon and josie walking from their date and the look she just has man like you can just tell man she misses landon so so much man it's just hurting her like it's painful man it's painful but then we go to Landon and Josie's date, and it turns out that they, they, they had a bad date because Josie didn't tell Landon that she's allergic to seaweed. So the whole date is awkward. Their walk back is awkward and not good, and Landon is, like, wondering what's wrong with her, and she won't tell him. She just says that she's sick. She doesn't feel good, and, um, and that, they just, that they just had a bad date and all that, um, which leaves Landon pretty, like, and like a weird state you know he doesn't understand what's going on and what's wrong because i'd be questioning too like she just ran off honestly she, like and just said that they had a bad date like it made no sense like i wish she would have just told him right there and then but it did lead to that scene that they had at the end so i guess it they had to but yeah then we go to a 
my favorite like my favorite like scenes right here Landon is sitting on the bench it's nighttime he's just writing in his journal and he has his headphones in blasting music so he can't hear anything behind him but this monster the troll was about to attack him and hope saves him she and Landon is just chilling him and uh, Lark and Hope are just trying to take this dude out, this troll out, and Lance just sitting there with his headphones in. Just that, that was hilarious. That reminded me from the Amazing Spider-Man one, where the uh, lizard and Spider-Man are like uh, fighting in the library, and the teacher is just sitting there, or it's, it's actually Stan Lee, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's when he does his cameo, cameo, and he's just sitting there with his headphones on, and, you know doesn't hear anything and they're just fighting breaking everything and destroying the whole library so that reminded me of that scene that was truly funny um and then the moment happens he gets up because he hears something and there's like sparks flying in the air or flames or whatever and hope looks at him they look at each other like that moment where they just connected their eyes just connected and they saw each other for the first time ever or she's seen him before, but this is the first time he's seen her. I thought his memory was going to come back. I thought something epic was going to happen right here, but nothing happened. She walks away, and I thought that that was the end. I thought that was the only hand scene we were getting, and I was going to be actually really upset. But the epic scene happens. Hope is just sitting there. She's putting this crossbow, and she's putting, like, the... um. The thing where she's able to... Because she, she wanted to see Landon. So she's going to do that thing again. Where she can see his hologram. And then Landon, he's walking back. And he sees her. And he says, hey. You know. And like they start talking. He sits down. And it, it's just like... The, the way they talk just flows naturally, man. It's just no awkwardness. Just pure chemistry. Love. And beautifulness. Like just epicness right there. Um, he pretty much is just talking about Josie. And Hope just has to sit through it and just try her hardest not to tear up and just try her hardest not to just break and all that. And he pretty much tells her, like, you should go tell this. Because she tells him that she fell for a guy that doesn't know she, she exists. And he tells her, like, you should probably tell the guy that, you know, that you know that you exist. And she pretty much says, no, she's not going to do that, which sucks, Hope. Come on. He's right there, right in front of you, right next to you. Tell him, wake him up, so you guys can be together. Like, I, this is not going to end up well. This is not going to end well. Because when Landon figures it out that she didn't tell him, and they were sitting right next to each other, he's going to be so mad. He's going to be so mad. I'll be, I don't blame him. I'll be mad, too, because it's just it's just a bad situation, honestly. It's just horrible. Um, but the real epicness starts when he's about to get up, and he tells her, like, I hope you have a good night. And he says, this will cheer you up. A peanut butter blast with whipped cream on the bottom. If you know, then you know. The moment from 512. The originals. The moment. The parallel, man. Hope's face when he says that. And when he says, no, I didn't even want a milkshake. You know, I didn't, I didn't even taste it. I didn't have any of it. And the look she gives, you know, he just says, like, he really just doesn't know why he wanted it. Or got it. It was just so, man. Gosh. That moment, man. You can just tell that that's true love, man. It's true love. It's it's no other way to go around it. It's true love. Handon is in game. They have to be. This moment. Their moments with the music in the background. The take me home. Oh, my God. Like, I love these two so much. Like, they're just. They're that ship, man. They're that ship. Like, no other ship compares, in my opinion. Like, I just. Like, right now on TV, man, no ship compares to them. No ship. None. Like, it's, this this ship is just epic. And I can't wait. To, they're going to be on a journey this season. I just have a feeling it's not going to be easy for them at all. Um, and I can't wait to see the epic scenes that they have. Because if they have this epic, if they're having epic scenes like this in the first two episodes, just imagine what we're going to be in during the season, fin season finale and stuff like that. Like I'm, I'm thinking about the Lena 422 or what was it 423, the season four finale scene. I'm thinking like we're gonna get a scene like that. You know what I'm talking about the Lena, the Lena. You know what I'm talking about the Lena fireplace. You know, 
If you know, you know. Season th season four finale. That's all I gotta say. If you know, you know. Like I'm I'm feeling like a scene like that for Hannah is coming. I'm feeling it. So like. This scene was just amazing. Tell me what you guys thought about this scene. Because it was my favorite scene. Like, from the first two episodes, this is my favorite scene. I thought the bus stop scene was amazing. This this topped it. Easily topped it. Easily. It was... I can't... If I could just go on and on for about Handon, man. Because I loved him so much. Like, it, it was just amazing. But then, right after this scene, we get we go right into a Jandon scene. And I like this moment. I really, really like this moment. Where Landon knocks on the door. He comes in and... Josie gets up, she wakes up, or she was laying down, she gets up, um, and she pretty much tells him that she's not sick, you know, she's just allergic to seaweed, and he pretty much, he says, why, why, like, why would you eat, see, uh, sushi, if, you know, you're allergic and all that, and she just didn't want to be a bother to him, she didn't want to, like, you know, uh, ruin anything, and she's trying to take care of him, but he doesn't need her. He doesn't need her to do that. And she 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 realizes that you know, like he doesn't need her like that, like she like other people have in the past. And um, I really really enjoyed this scene. Like I really really like their scenes together. Like I've said before, uh, it's just it just doesn't compare to Hannah though. Like it just doesn't. But I take these scenes for what they are, and they're they're good scenes. They have chemistry, and I know Arya and. Uh, Kaylee, they like having scenes together, so it is what it is. Um, so I think it was cute, but you know, we gotta get through it. Um, their kiss was good. Uh, I just, I just like the way that he makes her smile. Honestly, like I really like the way that he makes Josie smile because she's, she seems, she's so happy. Honestly, she's really, really happy, and you can see it on her face and. Um, I'm really excited to see where their relationship goes after this, honestly, because now that like a lot is laid off the table, like a lot is laid on the table for them, you know, a lot, um, you know, so like a big part is at least. So I'm wondering where their relationship will go after this, because the promo looks crazy for next season. It looks, I mean, next season, next episode, it looks pretty intense. So I can't wait to see how that goes. Um, but yeah. And then probably my second favorite scene of the episode, Hope going back to Alaric, her breaking down and telling Alaric everything that she's the, you know, she's the daughter of Klaus and Haley, Michaelson, her real name is Hope, Michaelson and all that. And like the boy that I love has moved on. <laughs> that, stuff, that, that was just so heartbreaking, man. Just so heartbreaking and Alaric just standing there and then embracing her and they hug and they tell, he tells her that he's going to help her with everything. <sighs> Just. Anybody said Daniel that can't act, man. Just. Like, what are you doing? Why are you even watching the show? Like, you clearly just. I don't even know. Like, you're just not. I, it makes no sense. Like, this girl was amazing. Amazing. Like. These scenes are just crazy, man. They wouldn't work if it wasn't for Danielle, man. She's just acting on point. Acting is just crazy, man. It's crazy. But then we go to the final... Or this dude, this headmaster, man. I don't like him, man. He's telling Josie that what she did... He's pretty much giving her pointer. And he's not mad at her for what she did, making the girl's nose bleed. He pretty much just tells her, like, something to help her. Like, you know, another spell to help her get away with it. I'm like, okay, this dude is definitely not good because what is he getting away with in the school? Like, he's doing something at the school where nobody else knows. So, if he knows this kind of spell, he knows some other darker stuff. You know, like, we got to look out for him. We got to keep an eye on this guy because he is not a lark and he's not good. And, yeah, we got to keep an eye on him. Period. And then there's a new guy with a hood, cape, everything. And he's killing people. And he's putting, like, some symbol on their head. On their forehead, like, and he has a sword. Like, who is that, man? Who is he, man? Come on. I hope this is not, like, some mystery that we have to figure out who it is. Because I don't like those. I really, really don't. Um, but that was a intense ending scene. You know, pretty graphic. But uh, tell me what you guys thought about this episode. That's going to wrap up my review. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I'm trying to get better at just talking and just... um blending these in and tell me if you guys like the way that i am just going about 
these scenes you know would you guys like me to go in order like when they happen or do you guys mind me just uh picking and choosing which to go over at a certain point or not but hope you guys enjoyed the review leave a like comment subscribe and uh it's me and brothers you know i'll see you guys in the next review peace